Cape May Brewing Company out of Cape May, New Jersey. Crushing it is an orange India pale ale, fruit ale, bursting with orange juice, 8% alcohol. Let's give it a shot. Well, happy COVID-19, everybody, in 2020. That came out wrong. My point is, be safe. Be careful. Wear your mask. Moving on, Cape May Brewing Company. I've tried a couple of them this last batch because, well, I sought them out. I sought them. I sought them. I sought them do it. Going after these guys because I'm really kind of in, in the mood for them lately. I'm really trying to find them out and trying to seek them out. And, well, this is, this is the result. IPAs. If you watch my channel, you know that I'm not a huge IPA fan, but I go out there and I venture out there and I try to try them because I try to try. I try to try. Who doesn't try to try? I try to try. You should try to try too. I try to try them because I want to know what these IPA lovers are all about and what they, they find interesting about these beers and what they find flavorful and enjoy from these beers because I just couldn't about two, three years ago. But now I'm slowly starting to find if it is an IPA, what I like about it and what I don't like about it and what I go after in an IPA and what I don't go after in an IPA. Unfortunately, Cape May is just in a different realm. They're in a different category, and they deserve to be because this is a damn fine IPA. This tastes like an IPA. Let's just start with the IPA itself. The IPA, it's hard to really find it in this beer, and that's not an insult. That just means that the flavor that they put in this beer, which I'll get to in a second, is just so damn good that the IPA just kind of it almost dissolves in the rest of the beer. But I like that. As, as a not a, a huge IPA fan, I find that extremely enjoyful. And, or I don't even know if enjoyful is a word, but it is. That's what it is to me. It's enjoyful because I'm not getting hit with this huge hop or, or bite or bark, for that matter, with this beer. But I still taste that there's that pungent kind of underlying factor that there's an IPA in this beer still. But now let's get to the orange part of it. This tastes, if you would just take a mild IPA and pour Florida or Tropicana orange juice into the beer, that is exactly what this is. I mean, almost spot on with, I could mistake this for morning OJ with my breakfast. And that's what I absolutely fantabulously love about this beer this orange flavor is so spot on with that morning orange juice and i i, I don't know many people that don't like morning orange juice or like, again tropicana or or or, or florida or, or i don't even i can't remember I, I can't think off the top of my head the other brands that are out there but my point is it's such such a good orange flavor orange juice flavor let's just put it that way and the IPA just has that nice, subtle, I wouldn't want this to be like a lager. I wouldn't want this to be a pilsner. I, you know, what? It, it, it doesn't have that same effect, I think, if it wasn't in an IPA. It's got that nice, again, that, that hoppy kind of zest, that kick. But the orange, it, it, it just works. It has that, that zest, that citrus spike to it. But it's so good, and I this is actually probably now my favorite IPA when it comes to the fruit category if th there are other IPAs I've tried in the past that if I just want a f straight IPA beer yeah I might go for that if I really do want one but when it comes to the fruit IPAs this is by far light years ahead of many of the other fruit IPAs that I've tried and I just I'm I'm actually really pleased that it came from Cape May Brewing Company because these guys are just they're doing it for me. They really are. I've said that before, and I'm sure you're tired of hearing me say that, but they really, they, they're they doing it for me. And I'm just so happy that they are. My drinkability, I could actually drink a six-pack of IPAs. You've heard it here first, people. I could drink a six-pack of these IPAs from Cape May Brewing Company because the flavor is that great. Alcohol is a little bit higher, so I might get a little slow towards the end. And it is sweet. It's on the sweet side. But I just don't feel like that would stop me. It's such a great flavor that I don't mind. I feel like this is more of a, a summer month beer because the, f the fruit flavor, the orange flavor, and the IPA, but it's a little bit heavier, but I, I just feel like it it would be more fitting. It would be more custom to 
drink it in the warm months. On a scale of 1 to 10, though, this is a 9. I absolutely am a fan of this beer. I never thought I'd say that about an IPA, but I cannot, I, I can't, I cannot tell a lie. Wait, was that George Washington or was that Ben Franklin? I cannot tell a lie. Maybe it was some other forefather. My point is, it's a good beer. I'm not going to deny it and I'm not going to downplay it because it is an IPA and I'm not an IPA fan or that you can't really taste much IPA in the beer. And again, that's not a negative thing. If you're more a fan of the IPA beers, maybe you'd be able to taste it. Maybe you won't even like it because of how subtle it is, but it's it's mixed so smoothly, and I really am enjoying this beer. And don't take that away from me because I'm not taking it away from you. I'm actually recommending that you go get some yourself. So, again, done ranting. That's Cape May Brewing Company out of Cape May, New Jersey, crushing it. Orange IPA, 8% alcohol. Good job.